This man named Richard Adams passed very recently. You probably don't recognize him, authors aren't often known for their looks, but you very likely have heard of his books, or at least the adaptations of them. He's the original author of Watership Down, a book and film about fuzzy bunnies that's not for the faint of heart. Escaped test subject dogs chasing a bear god towards Ephrapha is culturally effed. Born in May 1920 in the English countryside, Adams grew up well and attended college. He enlisted to the British Army in 1940 in communications, seeing no direct fighting himself. After the war, he finished university and worked for the government as a civil servant, where he would build a long 20-year career. He was on a road trip, his young daughters bored of watching the English countryside for hours. They demanded a story from him. He would often read them scary stories at night that would keep them up, and out of nowhere, he began with, Once there had been two rabbits, called Hazel and Fiverr. Watership Down is the story of a group of rabbits who set out to find a new warren. Fiverr has a habit of seeing the future and sees tragedy coming for home. He convinces his brother Hazel and a group of others to leave. Traversing the English countryside, they encounter predators, rivers, roads, good dogs, bad rabbits, a cat, a very bad rabbit, and eventually a new warren. They also meet a very loud, accented bird who helps rescue some other farm rabbits and kill their enemy with a very bad dog. Oh, and this little gem. What happened? A warren. Destroyed. Destroyed? How? Men came, filled in the burrows. Couldn't get out. There was a strange sound. You see, the air to the bad. And many like it. After Adams finished the story, his daughters amazed by the narrative. They insisted that he write it down. Two years, three agents, and four publishers later, his work was finally published in a short 2,500 copy run all they could afford. The critics were crazy about it though, and they ended up selling a million copies in 1972. He reinvigorated anthropomorphic fiction with a big splash of naturalism. Watership Down has been interpreted as a telling of the hero's journey, leading a chosen group toward a promised land and overcoming obstacles along the way before returning to a state of peace. Watership Down has been compared with Homer's Odyssey, which also has a prophecy, a false paradise, and a battle. Adams himself has been quoted that he had never intended on an underlying meaning or theme. He just wrote the story from his heart and only ever meant it to entertain his daughters. The story was adapted to film starring John Hurt as Hazel and Richard Briers as Fiverr in 1978 and to a show that ran for three series between 1999 and 2001. The show also featured Hurt as General Woundwart and Briars as Captain Broom, and also Stephen Fry as Cowslip. In 2006 and 2011, it was adapted to a stage play. It's also the main inspiration behind the Dungeons & Dragons-like role-playing book Bunnies and Burrows, published in 1975 with a second edition in 1985 and a GURPS edition in 1995. It was known for its comprehensive martial arts fighting system for the rabbits called Bun Fu. Your fuzzy paw style is no match for my bunny tail style. Wow. He would write a second book, Shardik, a fantasy about a bear pursued by a hunter who believes Shardik to be the incarnation of God. He follows the bear toward a city and a kingdom in turmoil. After publishing, he left his government job to be an author full-time, and he was inducted into the Royal Society of Literature in 1975. His third novel was The Plague Dogs, which would later also be adapted to film. It's intentionally a satire on animal testing labs. It's about two dogs who escape a testing lab and are hunted by humans who think they may have been exposed to the plague in their escape. This is a very dark and depressing movie. I've never read the book, but I can only imagine that it's just about the same level of depressing. The film literally opens with a dog drowning. It's terrible. These films are meant for children, even if they're unpleasant and have dark themes. It's about growing up and acknowledging that kids have to learn the facts of life that affect everyone, regardless of age or species. Everyone experiences hardships in life and everyone dies. That there are harsh truths about the world that we must face if we want to grow and help make the world better. Adams was a staunch animal and environmental activist. He campaigned against unethical fur and wrote the plague dogs as a site against animal experimentation and cruelty. In order to stop something bad, you have to look it in the face and see all of its parts if you want to change it and change the world for the better. 
I think Adams' stories are good and worth sharing with children. It's a sign of maturity if they can handle and understand what's happening. I think it will help them grow and learn to be respectable adults who can face dark challenges and the brutal but natural aspects of living a life on this planet. Next time you're on a road trip, hopefully to your next furry convention, try making up a story. Maybe in a couple of years it will be a major motion picture that scars children for life. Richard Adams was 52 when he started to write the story idea down. He would later lament in a Guardian interview that he wished he had known he had a writing talent earlier. It just goes to show that it's never too late to start something new or to discover a hidden talent. Watership Down remains his legacy book, overshadowing his other later works that never quite achieved the same critical success. Later this year, in 2017, Netflix and the BBC are releasing a new Watership Down in four one-hour parts. They promise it's not going to be as intense as the original. You know how you let yourself think that everything will be alright if you can only get to a certain place or do a certain thing. But when you get there, you find that it's not that simple. This was a short episode I prepared because of the passing of Richard Adams happened so recently. Tell me what you guys think about author or artist showcase episodes like this. I've been wanting to do one on Beatrix Potter for a long time, but has just I haven't gotten to it. Sorry guys. Her Wikipedia page is way longer than Adams's. So let me know down in the comments if you want more videos like this one, or if you prefer our other video essays on more abstract topics. Or if you just want to see Rusty in different outfits, posing in compromising positions, let us know that too. I have been your host, RK. Thanks for watching. Under Mike, could you give me a hand? Ah, my lucky human hand. It came off of one of these fluffy people. Hopefully after this week was supported by people on Patreon who gave us money for doing internet stuff. If you like what we do, share, like, subscribe, and I won't take your hand.